everyone welcome to Avery's four month update so I'm so sorry this is actually coming to you and Avery is like 10 days away from being five months old we just had such a crazy month and I honestly wanted to wait to make this video until we went to her most recent pediatrician appointment because I wanted those stats to give you guys. So sorry, this is a little delayed, um, but I'm gonna try to remember what she was when she just turned four months instead of now where she's almost five months. So yes, Avery is four months old, well, over four months old. But let me um, pull up the stats. I saved them to my phone. Basically, I'll tell you guys, she is a tiny baby. So for height, she's 24 and a half inches tall, which puts her in the 39th percentile. For weight, she's 13 pounds, seven ounces, which puts her in the 26th percentile. And her head, she's always had a tiny head. Um, she is 40 centimeters around, I guess putting her in the 23rd percentile. So Avery is a super tiny baby, but she's always been tiny. My boys were way bigger than her, like two to three pounds heavier than her at the same age, but she is a girl and I think girls just weigh less. The pediatrician is not worried about how tiny she is. He um, showed me her growth curve and she's following that just fine. So that's been good. I have to look on my notes to see what she was doing. So new with Avery at four months. Avery is now rolling both ways. So she can roll from her back to her belly and from her belly to her back. So the newest one this month was rolling from her back to her belly, which means we are no longer swaddling her um, to keep her safe. And so she doesn't like roll over when she's sleeping and swaddled. So we now just swaddle her midsection, but we keep her arms out. I was a little worried about the transition because both my boys, I kind of did a slower transition and just did like one arm out at a time and then finally both arms out. But with her, she rolled so early that I just did it cold turkey and she honestly handled it like a champ, had no problems with it and is still sleeping through the night, takes awesome naps. So it did not slow her down one bit. That's another thing with Avery is we have yet, knock on wood, where's my door? <laughs> knock on wood, we have yet to experience the four month sleep regression. She has had, she had one day where she woke up at like 3 a.m. and had a bottle. And then she has had a couple of nights where it's been hard to get her down. But I think it's mostly because we kept her up too late. If you keep Avery up past her wake windows and try to get her down to sleep, she will fight you for like an hour. But other than that, she's still been sleeping great. By this time, both my boys had started waking up way more often in the middle of the night several times in the middle of the night and she just still sleeps through the night other than that one night she woke up at 3 a.m but other than that she is like angel baby she's just so good with her sleep I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to um, do this video with her because she is getting tired for her morning nap, but I just wanted to get her in in the beginning and then if I have to continue it myself, I will. Back to her rolling over. She had been rolling over to her side over and over and over again, but then she would get stuck. She'd like get stuck on her one arm on her side. And then finally one day, Anthony just showed her how to roll. Like she was stuck on her side and then he just helped her roll over. And then as soon as that happened, it like clicked in her head and she just was able to roll now she doesn't do it all the time she which is the same with the belly to back she what might roll one day and then maybe a couple days pass and then she rolls again so it's not consistent but she does do it and she does not like tummy time so she does not ro like rolling from her back to her belly but she does okay I'm gonna put her down for a, for a nap and then I'll continue this video myself say bye I'm gonna take a nap now Say bye, this is me, say bye bye. Okay, we're back. I was gonna finish the video without Avery, but then I got busy while she was napping, so she woke up from her nap and now we're back again. I don't really remember what I was talking about. <laughs> so I'll just keep going. I know I was talking about rolling um, and Anthony showing Avery how, how to roll. In addition to rolling, Avery can now scoot 
So I'll like put her in one position like this and then I'll come back and she'll have turned her whole body and it'd be like this or like completely turned around. So she does scoot a little bit. Like I said before, she hates tummy time and she kind of tries to crawl but hasn't really got that motion down. I mean, she's young so it's not like that's expected anytime soon. But she is working on it. She does lift her head up a little bit and does like to roll. Okay, I'm feeding her her bottle, if you can't see. <laughs> um, the biggest thing this month that happened is Avery, as you can see, is now drinking milk from a bottle. It was a long battle that we did trying to get her to get off the boob and onto the bottle, but we finally did it. We did have to go like one day, cold turkey, no boob, only bottle, and she fought it the whole day, cried like the whole day, and then the next day she took the bottle no problem, and she's been fine ever since. Unfortunately, it's kind of like tanked our breastfeeding journey. I bottle fed her for like two weeks, and then we went on a cruise, and she did a bottle for a week, and then I came back, and I tried to breastfeed her again, and she breastfed a little bit, but ever since um, I started pumping, my supply has just tanked, and then we went on a cruise ship for a week, and so I was pumping very non-consistently, and so my supply tanked from that, and I wasn't keeping any of the milk because we were on vacation, so I was pumping and dumping, and yeah, so my supply has just tanked, so I'm still pumping now. I make a little bit uh, throughout the day, and then we're supplementing with frozen breast milk that I've frozen um, the past couple months, and then eventually we will switch her over to formula once the breast milk runs out which is not a big deal. I've started a little bit of a stockpile. I have, um, we went to the, when we went to her most recent pediatrician appointment, they had a ton of free samples of huge cans of formula. So I got a whole bunch of those and they're up in my cabinet. Um, and both my boys used formula, so it's nothing new to us. And I plan on still pumping a little bit because I like using breast milk when you mix it with the rice cereal rather than the formula. So I will pump as long as I can. Avery is talking a little bit more, but she's still a pretty quiet baby as of four months. That's Grayson's hand. Um, she, it just doesn't say very much. She only cries when she's hungry or tired. Yeah. And other than that, she really doesn't make noise. She has not laughed, which we're a little concerned about just because both my boys were laughing by this stage, but I did ask the pediatrician about it, and he said it's not really something to worry about. Most babies start around four months, um, but sometimes it could take them up to six months to really get it down. So we're trying every day to get her to laugh. We tickle her and I fake sneeze at her and I feel like she's really close. She, it's like she wants to laugh. She just doesn't quite know how to make the sound come out. So we're working on that. But other than that, yeah, she doesn't really like talk a lot. Um, Grayson was a chatty baby. She's just so quiet. Could be just because she has talkative brothers and they do all the talking for her. But yeah, she's pretty quiet quiet. Avery loves laying on her back still looking up at the fan or she loves laying on her little kick piano toy. She loves that toy, loves, sometimes she just is unhappy being held and then we put her down on the floor and she's just happy and likes to be by herself and look at herself in the mirror. Avery loves looking at herself in the mirror. I will hold her and take her like into the bathroom and show her herself and she gets the biggest smiles. It is so funny, so cute. I'll have to input a Snapchat video I took of it here. herself it's so so cute one thing to mention is at Avery's uh, four-month pediatrician appointment everything seemed pretty good with her um, but the doctor did notice that her head does kind of have a funky shape now we've been down this road before 
Um, when she was first born, they ultrasound her head because her skull plates were really far apart when she was born and they were concerned about it, but they saw no concerns. But now, um, she's having a new concern with her head, which it's looking flat on the back. Um, and if you've fo been following my videos, we've been going and getting that checked out. We got referred to a cranio specialist, something like that. I don't, I don't know what they're called. So I will talk more about that at her five month update, but... Um, it's something that we're looking into her head shape. Of course, there's always something going on with Miss Avery. As of four months, we have not started rice cereal or purees or anything like that. I think I was starting Grayson before he even turned four months. So I really need to get on that and um, start getting her into that. I wanted to make sure with the pediatrician that it was good for her to start that. So we will... Um, be starting her on that soon. She really is such an angel baby. Um, she loves just being by herself. She does want to be held a little bit more and she likes being held in the upright position so she can like look, ar look around, look out and see things. But she's still so light so I don't mind holding her. Um, but then she does like those times where she's just laying down on the ground. She does not like her car seat, still hates being confined to that, which I don't blame her. She still loves baths. Um, we're still bathing her in the sink. We have not graduated to the bathtub yet. I'm just not ready for it. <laughs> um, like I said, she's sleeping great, sleeping through the night, doing like three naps a day about. Her bedtime's about seven. Um, but if she has like a later nap in the evening, um, like sometimes we'll go on walks, so maybe she'll be up until like 8.30ish, so it just kind of depends. She's really easy with other people. She doesn't have like stranger danger or anything. I mean, she's not really at the age for that yet, but she doesn't mind other people. Um, she definitely recognizes like Anthony and I's voice and turns towards us. Are you going to talk? Yeah, you talking, talking? But as you guys can see, she has like this bulge in the front, which she's always had ever since she was born. Um, and then the back of her head, I wonder if I can show you guys. This is the back. I don't know if you guys can see, like maybe from the side. It's just oddly shaped. So we're just getting it checked out. So make sure to um, like and subscribe so you can follow along with our head journey um sounds like there's a possibility of a helmet that she needs to have so definitely stay tuned um especially if you want to learn more about head shape and fixing it with helmets and different things like that because this is all new to me too i've not had a kid with head issues porter my second did have a funky shaped head and we did get it x-rayed at one point but uh then it just they had no concerns about it and it just self-corrected bless you on its own so we didn't have to do anything like that but it sounds like Avery's is a little more severe so definitely stay tuned to my channel for that Avery still loves watching her brothers yeah. they are crazy and Russell and she loves watching them she doesn't like when they accidentally like step on her or land on her uh, but she does love watching them play my second Porter loves giving her kisses, loves singing to her. Recently, he's been calling her his brown eyed girl, which I don't know if I know, mentioned in any of my other videos, but it does look like she's going to have brown eyes, which is funny because both our boys have blue eyes. Anthony has blue eyes and then I have brown eyes. So it sounds like Avery is going to have brown eyes just like me. Hopefully she doesn't resent me for it as she gets older. I always wanted blue eyes. I I. I mean, I don't care now, but when I was younger, I hated my brown eyes. I wanted prettier eyes than brown. So unfortunately, Avery, you're gonna have brown eyes too. Um, she has been drooling and blowing bubbles. So I'm wondering if she's gonna get some teeth soon. I guess we'll just keep watching. She does love chewing on her hands. Um, she thinks they taste pretty darn good. But other than that, I think that's gonna be it. So sorry that this update was so delayed. Just stay tuned, because I guess I'll do the five month. Maybe I'll wait a couple weeks to do the five month update, because that's gonna happen in just a couple days, <laughs> is when she turns five months old. But thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And let me know down below if you have any questions you want me to answer for the five month old video. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye. Say bye, Avery. Bye bye. Bye. She's like, what am I looking at? I don't know. Say bye. Say bye. Bye.
Bye guys.